You can now remove the 120 meter limit from your DJI Mini 4 Pro and revert back to 500. But before I can tell you how you can do that, then you have to watch the full video to understand the consequences and know that once you have done it, it can't be reverted. With the introduction of the DJI Mini 4, we saw DJI enforce the 120 meter limit for pilots flying in the EU under the EASA drone regulations. So having this limitation introduced right out of the box would cause a lot of frustrations for people that live in uh, areas with mountains. Because the 120 meters is set from the takeoff point, so you can imagine the issues that this would give if you plan to fly on a mountainside. According to my sources, DJI lifted this restriction temporarily, but this was due to a software bug. However, to comply with the new EU drone regulations, DJI decided to revert this change and introduced a 120 meter limitation. As of release of this video, I can confirm that the latest update for DJI RC2 available this morning reinstates the 120 meter altitude limit. Also adds support to apply for a flight altitude above 120 meters. I bet many of you are wondering if this is going to affect some of the other mini drones as well. And I can tell you, changes are coming to the mini series as well. I'll talk more about this in the end of this video, but let's deal with the Mini 4 Pro first as this is the first mini drone with a C0 label. The new EU drone regulations have been outlined by the EU Commission and the European Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, and will become fully applicable on January 1st, 2024. These regulations adopt a risk-based approach, considering the weight and the specification of the drone and their intended operation. They categorize drones into different classes, ranging from C0 to C4 in the open category, where most of us are flying. The rules do no longer distinguish between leisure and commercial activities. The C0 classification offers a significant degree of freedom, as drone pilots do not need to obtain a specific drone certificate to operate this kind of aircraft. However, there are some technical restrictions placed onto the manufacturer to ensure safe and secure operation. Manufacturer's technical requirements for C0. A maximum takeoff mass of less than 250 grams. A maximum attainable height from takeoff point of 120 meters. A maximum speed in level flight of 19 meters per second. Additionally, drone pilots must adhere to these operational rules. Drone operator responsibility for C0. No flight expected or uninvolved people. If it happens, overflight should be minimized. And it's a no-go flying or assembly of people. Maintain flight altitude below 120 meters above ground level. It's important to note that the altitude limit according to the open category is 120 meters above ground, even if the drone can fly higher. This limit also applies to drones certified in the other classes like C1 and C2. If you own a Mini 4 Pro and wish to fly higher than the 120 meter limit from the takeoff point after the 21st of December 2023, you must follow these steps. Remove the C0 label from the Mini 4 Pro. Apply to have the technical altitude limitation extended to 500 meters by uploading a photo proof of the drone serial number and the drone without the label and you will receive an update. And there's no way back. Once you have proceeded with this step, there's no way that you can get your C0 label back on this specific drone. And the drone will become a sub 250 gram legacy drone that despite what DJI claims on their block, you will still be able to fly it in the open category. If we study the instructions on the block, there seems to be a path for recertification. Starting from 2024, where a compliant pathway for applying the C1 label will be made available. If you wish to proceed by removing the 120 meter height limitation for your Mini 4 Pro, you can find a step-by-step -step guide through a link in the description below. Users of Mini 3 Pro, Mini 3 and Mini 2 SE all of you that have bought your drones before January 1st, 2024, have the following two options. Apply for the C0 label and C0 firmware through a special DJI portal from January 1st, 2024, and you need to provide proof for the drone's serial number. 
The C0 compliant firmware will limit the height of the drone to 120 meters above takeoff point from both a technical and operational perspective. The second option, continue to use the drone without the C0 label and C0 firmware. This would mean, from a technical perspective, the altitude limit will remain at 500 meters. From an operational perspective, you cannot fly higher than 120 meters from ground level. Given these two options, it raises the question, what is the incentive to apply for a C0 label for your legacy drone? In the open category A1 and A3 airspace. Let me know what you think about this. And if you have additional questions about the EU EASA rules, then let me know in the comments below. Then I might do a follow-up video answering your questions directly. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.